السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر ارشد محمود ہیئر مینی آف مائی جونیئرس اینڈ کولیگس ہو آر گوئنگ ٹو اپیئر ان دا ایگزامینیشن ہیو آسٹ می ٹو میک سم لیکچر آن دا کیس رومیٹک ہارٹ ڈیزیز دے آر ایکچولی فیسنگ اینڈ آئی آلسو فیس دا پرابلم آف ڈفرینشیٹنگ ویدر پیشنٹ از ان اسٹیٹ آف ایکیوٹ رومیٹک فیور رومیٹک ہارٹ ڈیزیز اور ود رومیٹک ہارٹ ڈیزیز اینڈ ریکرنس سو ہاؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈفرینشیٹ دیز ان کیس آف لانگ کیس Uh, that uh, in which category the patient is falling uh, so uh, after age of 5 year if patient is having murmur of mr that is uh, a uh, diastolic murmur uh, back smelly heard on the apex and radiating to axilla uh, the usually our first differential is uh, rheumatic uh, heart that can be acute rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease so what is uh, acute rheumatic fever it is basically a, a immune mediated a uh, post infectious uh, state where uh, after infection of uh, group a beta hemolytic streptococci that is streptococcus pyogenes uh, a cross acting antibodies are formed and they attack the multiple uh, systems including cns in the form of chorea skin in the form of uh, arthema marginatum and subcutaneous nodules and uh, joint in the form of uh, arthritis also heart in the form of endo myo and pericarditis Uh, so if uh, the patient can be uh, in state of acute rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease so first thing uh, uh, in long case uh, is that we should differentiate whether patient is in acute rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease so how we are going to differentiate them uh, uh, i will uh, try to elaborate that uh, whenever uh, you suspect the case to be a rheumatic uh, heart you will apply jones criteria if it is fulfilling john john's criteria then uh, it comes to be a case of acute rheumatic fever or in st- in case of rheumatic heart disease we will label him as a recurrence first thing second is uh, in case of uh, if you find a patient suppose of 8 years of old and while taking history uh, there is no previous history of admission there is no previous history of joint pain there is no previous history of cardiac symptoms in the form of orthopnea or pnd or uh, edema there is no previous history of any echo done or uh, being uh, admitted or being given uh, benzathine prophylaxis then your history rules out that uh, there is no previous attack have been occurred to that uh, patient and on examination if you find uh, that patient is having a normal uh, chest uh, on inspection without any bulge and uh, the apex beat is in localized uh, within limit and uh, uh, the, there is no loud p2 then and patient is having normal height and normal weight so that patient is a case of acute rheumatic fever you can defend him in long case that it is a case of acute rheumatic fever because you have elaborated the history and examination and, and there is no uh, evidence of previous infection on other hand if you uh, find a case that you suspect to be rheumatic heart and while taking history examination if history if in history if there is previous history of joint pain there is previous history of uh, some cardiac symptom there is previous history of admission with uh, echo being done or uh, being given injection benzathine pro, uh, prophylaxis or on examination uh, you find that a patient is having a chest uh, bulging chest or there is apex we be it is displaced or there is a loud p2 or patient is having a uh, height and weight affected then you can say that patient is having signs of chronicity so patient uh, can be case of rheumatic heart disease so first thing you will differentiate whether it is a case of acute rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease now uh, if it is a case of acute rheumatic fever then uh, things are easy for you while in in uh, setting in exam setting mostly we get the cases of rheumatic heart disease in that case we have to uh, further uh, dig out that whether this patient now has came to us with a recurrence with arrhythmia with infection with uh, poor compliance with heart failure so rheumatic heart disease patient can come with these conditions so you have to, on the basis of history and examination rule all these things should be ruled out now when uh, we will say that patient with rheumatic heart disease is having a recurrence in a long case setting uh, in long case setting uh, you will uh, first uh, 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 examine the patient take history label him as a rheumatic heart disease on the basis of finding that i have already told you 
no you will see the uh, on examination you will uh, try to check the signs of uh, the criteria of jones that include uh, subcortical nodules erythema marginatum chorea arthritis and carditis so you will uh, clinically check all these things you will check uh, detail uh, do cns examination for chorea joint examination for arthritis skin examination for subcortical nodules and erythema marginatum Uh, and for uh, carditis, uh, you will escalate the heart. Uh, actually, uh, the criteria is that changing heart murmur. But if you have not already heard the patient, you can say that it is murmur is changing. So you can uh, indirectly check if there is a pe- uh, pericardial rub. Then you can say that uh, signs of carditis is present. If patient is having resting tachycardia and all other sign uh, causes of tachycardia like anemia, like arrhythmia, like uh, 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 temperature, uh, fever have been ruled out. then you can say that this patient is having carditis and that can uh, favor your diagnosis of recurrence so for recurrence you have to check all these things if uh, any of these is present then only you can label the rec- uh, that patient is having recurrence if uh, none of these is present then uh, you will not label him as a recurrence you will just label him as a case of re- uh, rheumatic heart disease and you will try to dig out uh, the cause of his readmission or cause of his worsening that can be anemia that can be uh, heart failure that can be poor compliance that can be uh, any valvular rupture or other things uh another important uh, question that is being asked in the exam is uh, that uh, a patient uh, with a rheumatic acute rheumatic fever when will you give the steroid to that patient so indication for steroid are uh, that patient is uh, either intolerant to aspirin or having side effect while giving aspirin or patient is in heart failure or uh, patient is in uh, having pericardial effusion in these settings you will give him uh, steroids and in heart failure uh, instead of giving oral steroid it is better to give uh, injectable sti- steroids the reason being is that uh, in oral uh, in case of heart failure the supply of uh, gut is compromised so injectable steroids will be do uh, will do uh, more better i hope you will have understand the uh, basic concept of uh, all these and uh, it will be helpful for you thank you